Ma'am, uh, were you shot at yes. by the Mexican side or was yes. it at the USA side? So it was the Mexican side. Okay. Yes. Did you see anybody? There were three boats. Ma'am. Yes. Okay. Are you sure that your your husband got shot? Yes. Was he was he thrown out of the jet ski that he's in the water or something? Yes. Right. So you more or less know where where uh, he is? Yeah, but he's, he's on the network. Okay. That's some of the uh, 911 call that Tiffany Hartley made. Uh, you know, a part of me, although I have my doubts about this, a part of me feels, and I understand where you're coming with it, Steve Hilbig, I feel kind of sick that we live in a world where we can't take at face value that kind of 911 call because it's been gamed by so many people. Yeah. You know? I, I guess my point I was trying to make in, in artfully is uh, I have my skepticism but I think it does no good to kind of keep that kind of generating, that gossip generating. It's just like, let's get to the facts, because it's such a horrific thing if it's true. You call and me a frankly, gossip, Bill Big. You, you bet you this is talk <laughs> radio, isn't it? Uh, and it's so ho horrific if it's true, and just like the acid lady, that thing is just so, uh, you know, I can't put my arms around that. Why would somebody do that to mm -hmm. themselves no. and then make no. the claim? I mean, that, no. that, and so I, I consider that just as horrific for different yeah. reasons. Yeah. You know. All right. Um, well, the highlight of our week was uh, Rick Perry <laughs> heading up for the, the fire escape in the middle of our interview on I've never uh, even Monday. done that to you, Jack. You have never done that. And That's you, true. I've actually run out of the She stayed over, right? She there are stayed times over. that I ran out of the room <laughs> you, when you, Diane You've deserved it, on. though. I mean, do you but, think? What do you think? I, but, I demand uh, two hours, right? <laughs> even though Rick exactly. Perry is dodging exactly. the debate, <laughs> even though Rick Perry has more baggage than Zsa, Zsa Gabor going on an around-the-world cruise, nonetheless, all the polls indicate he's a lock for re-election. How's he do it? What's the secret? Okay, well, I here's what I think is a real secret, and that is that he's done an effect. It's the hair, right? Well, you know, he, 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 I'm not, I'm not a big Rick That's Perry not hair on your fan. List. I'm not <laughs> yeah. a big, no, not not totally on my list, but but he, I think he's done a good job of one thing, and that is telling the story of Texas that uh, the state of Texas created half. So 50% of all jobs last year, and the rest of the states created the other 50. And I think he's done a good job of telling that story. And, and what we saw, I think, in the Kay Bailey Hutchinson election was just that. Leave her as senator, leave me as governor, and the world will be, you know, continue to be great Isn't here. And the truth sad, is, though, it's not. He doesn't have an opponent, and, and, and apparently never will have an opponent, who can dissect the fact that Rick Perry did not create those jobs. But Rick Perry just happened matter. to be governor when that happened. But that doesn't well, matter. You know, the governor of Texas has the least power right. of any governor of the 50 states. The truth is the real power in Texas is vested in the lieutenant governor and in, in the legislature, which meets every other year. So the governor of Texas is not wholly powerful. It's more of a figurehead than anything else. And uh, and so he, he, he has done a good job of going across the state and, and getting his message across. So that's why I believe okay. you see those numbers. Right. And I'm not saying I support those numbers, but it's just what you see. All right. But in his defense, he has taken the Texas Enterprise Fund, and he's used it to help San Antonio with Toyota and other business initiatives. So uh, we're beneficiaries of that fund, if nothing else. Yeah, because Jack, I think it doesn't matter because I think most voters believe in if it ain't uh, broke, don't fix it. Uh, and and when people come and talk to me about, well, I'm going to run for this office or run for that office, question I always ask: Tell me what the incumbent is doing wrong and how you're going to do it better. And if you cannot articulate that, then I think voters aren't going to give you a chance. Because because why why then are you running? Well, because I want to be. Well, who cares about what your dreams are? So What's is Bill going White on? not a very good challenger for Rick Perry, or are you guys saying that there really is no good? Way you know, to challenge Bill White Perry? is a fantastic um, candidate on paper, but I don't know if you've seen his commercial lately. Oh yeah, yeah. it's just not the most exciting thing. No, to I know exactly what you mean. He's better on paper than than in in the real in the flesh. You know, side by side. You can do a, a comparison, and he's he's a fat, you know in Houston he's he's beloved is doing a lot of very effective things. I do think that one of the things Perry has done correctly is he he attacked his strengths. It's um, and that is you know his ability to manage during Katrina, and Rick Perry went straight for it and said he used Katrina and made money off it as opposed to um, what what Bill White really did during those times and and what he did really was heroic he worked very hard and helped uh, this state and this city and so I think he's done a good job of kind of attacking his his strengths also
So we're going to have Rick Perry as governor for 14 years. And your point is? Well, you know, you said, Steve Hilbig, that uh, the, the, the starting point for a challenger is what's the incumbent doing wrong? I think that's just too damn long. I don't care who you are. That's just too long. Well, he'll well, break state records. I mean, you know, it's the longest serving yeah, governor in the history of the state of there, Texas. There can be something to that. But again, like, you know, going back to like DAs, we've had DAs serve uh, in other cities, not in Bear County, but in other cities for 24 I years. I too long. Well, I agree. It, it, I'll be consistent with you. You can name any level of government, local, state, federal. Too not long. arguing the point, but I'm just simply saying that if that's one of the points you want to make, that's great. But. I think, again, most people feel that if it's working out, if things are doing well, then why do we need a change? And yet not this year. Well, I think they're saying this year, I'd agree. Because, I mean, I read, a, I read a poll this morning. John Dingell, the congressman who's been in the House longer than anyone, 55 years, is trailing his Republican opponent. He was over 90% of the vote just two years ago. But you proved my point. People think that there's a problem with what's going on in, in Congress. So let me, let me kind of modify it. The point was is that if the person cannot articulate what's going wrong with uh -huh. the, with the incumbent, mm -hmm. people aren't going to perceive. Give me a, a reason to vote for you. Yeah, yeah. I and think that hasn't the, happened for I, Bill White. I hope White the longevity election. thing will become an issue unto itself. I hope we will start saying, "Look, I don't have to hate the guy, but I'm going to decide that this is just too long. Jack, and I so want to make a change." I've been married to my wife 34 years. It's just too long. I need to make a change. That's not public <laughs> office. No, no. But <laughs> you come know, on. Happy with That's the relationship. That's between the two of you. I yeah, don't Sylvie care. may be tired of it, but I mean, yeah. but, but you, I don't I mean, want it's anyone serving in government for for that amount of time. Um, you know, I find it I find it really interesting that we put a term limit on the presidency, which is probably the office that least needs one, because realistically. You're not you, you're not going to stay in that office for 20 years. There's no way. What we don't put it on the jobs that are very easy to become sinecures, that are very easy to become lifetime, House, uh, Senate, um, and, and these lower level jobs. That, you know, these people that park themselves at one position like sure. DA for 24 years or 47 years, Steve. You can't tell me they're as sharp at the end of that they're time not. as they were at the beginning. They're not. But see, if you can articulate what the problem is, now you've got the issue. And that's all I'm yeah. that's all I'm trying to say is that you just can't run. I mean, I talked with Mr. LaHood when he first started running, and I said, so what's you doing wrong, and how are you going to do it better? And was not able to articulate something. And he came back and said, well, it's just, it just needs a change. And I said, well, that's not going to work. Does it work for Obama? I said, yeah, but you ain't Obama. Well, and you, you know, know that... And, and we've seen the problem with that. The thing know? about Obama is we hardly knew anything about him when we elected him president. Nico LaHood, people feel like they know, rightly or wrongly, the most significant thing they could know about him already. And, and I think that's his problem, don't you? I mean, if she had an opponent who could pick on her foibles without having it come back on him, this would be a very different race right now. But they kind of cancel each other out, don't they? Well, I mean, he could have a strategy of, you want to discuss uh, my bad judgment 17 years ago, fine. Let's talk about it. But let's talk about your bad judgment or what he perceives as bad judgment and things that currently happen. But in it would her be a office. lot more effective if you didn't have any bad judgment oh, of I your agree. own and the I whole agree. campaign could be about her. Oh no, I agree. Right? But but you know, it was kind of interesting and I disagreed with his strategy was that when he first announced himself to the public, uh, he brought this issue up. I mean, so I kind of thought and what has happened uh, at that time, I thought well he's just going to be known as a drug guy running for DA. Right. And in essence, after all of this time and whatever money he spent, I think he's still known as a drug guy running for DA. Yeah. Yeah, no I well, think Well, Jack, right. it comes back to what you said earlier, then who's going to run? I mean, he's risking a lot by saying, "Hey, listen, I have this uh, this lap in judgment now 17 years ago, but I'm going to run anyway." So who's going to run for these offices if anybody's got any kind of a potential scar? Like, for example, my mom started a restaurant with $3,000, and as we grew the business, we had problems with uh, uh, the health department, and we had problems with, uh, uh, I don't know, somebody suing us because there was a slip and fall case. Were I to, I, were I to run for public office, uh, Louis Barrios has been sued by customers. Well, yeah, right. it's a slip and fall case. I right. mean, but then they amplify that. So... Who's going to run right. if all we do is look at the surface of everything? I agree with you, but I guess the point I was making was, in his case, the, the way he needs to un, uh, you know, sort of take apart her incumbency is so the Southwest ticket scandal. In order for him to be able to do that, he can't have right. 
a, a, a rap sheet of his own. It has to be someone who we believe has the, 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 the whatever moral standing or whatever. I'm not saying I believe this, but the public has to buy him as this squeaky clean crusader. Well, well I'll, I'll go at it differently. And, and I think that you can say, okay, so both have warts if you want. But then it comes back to what are you going to do in the office? And, and that's where I, I get to my second point of, so how are you going to do it better? And there's been no articulation of that. I mean, I listen to different interviews, and what I kind of take from his is that, well, we need to get to the root causes of crime. Well, that's great, but that's not the job of the DA. Go, you know, go be a social worker, go be a school superintendent, or go do all of those other things. But, you know, the job of the DA is to prosecute those folks and fairly prosecute that needed to be prosecuted, then figure out a punishment and, and try to get a punishment that will stop them from wanting to commit their next crime. That's how we make our community safer, and that's how we reduce crime. And, and I have not heard articulation from him as to how he's going to I just got that. a great idea, guys. Steve Hilbig should be the DA. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why haven't we thought of this? When we come back, more Gang of Four on a Friday morning. It's News Talk 550 KTSA. Karen Klaus, good morning to you. Good morning, Jack. And, and gang, say good morning to Karen Good Klaus. morning, good morning, good morning. All right. Well, Karen, we have to discuss, that's, uh, you know, it's the month of Halloween. Yes. Uh, I don't want to scare anybody. Yeah. But we have to discuss witchcraft. Yeah, okay. Witchcraft is very much in our lives. Well, what are we discussing we're about back, it? We're, it's back. Uh-huh. I'm not you a know, witch. 400 years later, it's back. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. <laughs> I'm nothing you've heard. I'm you. None of us are perfect, but none of us can be happy with what we see all around us. Politicians who think spending, trading favors, and backroom deals are the ways to stay in office. I'll go to Washington and do what you'd do. I'm Christine O'Donnell, and I approve this message. I'm you. That's just what a witch would say, I think. Um, I would never approve that message. You know, you, <laughs> what a disaster. You're wearing all black, and you're saying I'm not a witch. Oh, my gosh. I don't, what, what, am I, what, what am I to think here, you know? Every corner, there's I another the obstacle. Of Oz. She <laughs> said she wasn't a witch either, you know? They all deny it. And then her feet were curling up under a house. I just... I do not even know where to go with that. Did you see her hat? It was sitting next to her. <laughs> yeah. I have a widescreen TV. You can see it. But Implosion. It's called Implosion. I do not even know where to go with that. And, and for those that don't know, oh, Christine on. O'Donnell's the Delaware Republican nominee for Senate, and she uh, upset a, a favorite uh, guy that uh, the, the voters decided they were sick of. But uh, it was, uh, I guess, revealed that she had discussed on, uh, on Bill Maher's show dabbling in it or having a friend who dabbled yeah, in it. Yeah, she said in high school or yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Who so, does that on Bill Maher's show? Who, and everyone no, wants to run for office. Who goes on his show? The better <laughs> question is, I mean, do you even ta if this is being said about you, and Diane Cibrian, you're a person that's had things said about you. That are not that are not true, Jack. Okay, so do you do this? Do you, do no, you like absolutely I'm not, not. I'm not a witch. This is this is, goes down to the... That'd be like you doing a spot that says, I'm not a condo dweller. I mean, <laughs> what... what what are you supposed to do with that? No, let me tell you. I think it, 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 I saw a second ad last night that was the same thing. Same piano music. I yeah, same you. thematics. Yeah. And so no witch. And same though. tagline. Right. But I think it was kind of like somebody saying, hey, people think you're a witch or devil with horns and everything. Get on TV All and right. just show. Now, the only Here's problem was she do. sounded like she was on drugs because she the, was The music was awful. So I mean, awful. Just, right. Okay. Karen, here's what we need to do. Yeah, what? There's, there's an easy solution to this. I can't, 